Leo. Good morning. Leo, do you want to go on a drive today? Do you want to go to Wally? Do you want to go to do the Duke game? Well, I don't know if you can go to the Duke game, but you can party in the Airbnb while I go. Ooh, stretch it out. Well, this is my first ever vlog. I look crazy. Is this a vlog? Let me know. I'm gonna get my vlogging stick. Today is a big day because it is Duke's Duke basketball's opening opening game of the season. And I was invited to sing the national anthem and I'm very honored. So Leo and I are taking a little road trip up to uh, Durham and gonna go sing and explore. Thought I would do a, a vlog, if that's what the kids call it, because I thought, why not? It would be fun. So here we are. Leo has no idea what we're doing. I don't know if I should wear these with this. I try to keep it like casual and cool when I sing the national anthem. Could do like, you know, the cool sweatpants and like a blazer. This is a college game. Like obviously Duke is the biggest college team, but I never know if I should be more casual or not. I think I might bring a heel, a little dunk, and uh, just kind of play it by ear maybe. I pulled out the bag. He's stressed. <laughs> You're going with me. Uh-oh, he's gonna jump up. I already know it. Wait for it. There it is. Hey, I'm going to We'll go to Durham. We'll see a Duke game. We'll hang out at a hotel. We could go to new dog parks. Here, come with me. Don't worry. Let me get your bed and the bag. Leo, I'm go we're going. Leo. Wait, child. You ready? You ready to go? You ready to go? He cannot believe he's going. He's so excited. I like that you're off around the edges. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we are in the car and we are on our way. Mm. Nothing like a crisp Diet Coke. I am definitely a Diet Coke girly. So we got about two hours to go. Let's talk about some things. Right, we will? This dog, if you haven't been able to tell so far in this video, has a lot of anxiety. I made sure to get a hotel that was comfortable for him. So anyways, I've kind of been going through it a little bit these days, like we all have. I thought, you know what? This would be a good opportunity for me to just kind of get away for a little bit. Maybe I could treat it like a little vacation. Unfortunately, none of my close friends could come with me or family. This is like the first time I'll ever be singing at a game completely by myself or any event by myself. Cause you know, you usually have one person that goes with you or people in the audience that you know. Singing at an event by myself, I don't know why that just kind of feels a little bit sad to me, but, it's, but at the same time, it feels very empowering. You know what I mean? Basically, it's like taking myself on a date night, but also on a work trip at the same time. Because obviously I have to perform well, but then I get to like enjoy the trip, which is great. It's, it's, it's great. Boy, is life so freaking hard and annoying. I'm going to this game by myself to sing by myself. I'm really trying to have a good mindset about it. Not feel so alone, but like depression and anxiety is so real. Some days I'm like, wow, life is so good. And there's so much hope and I see like a butterfly and I'm like, wow, God created that and life is great and life is beautiful and I can look at everything in such a beautiful light, you know, and write a song about it or just sing about it. And then other days, Everything is just so sad and so hard and I, I'm crying in the car driving, forcing myself to just try to do something, you know. Oh my god, I don't even know why I'm crying and saying all this stuff on camera, but I'm definitely an artist that has no music out. I'm probably very naive to think that when I put out music, things will change. Because surely things will not change, but at least... I'll be able to like share these thoughts in a more poetic, like musical, beautiful way through my music. Even if nobody listens to it, I don't even care. Because then I can just at least know that if it helps one person, if somebody hears one of my songs, it feels like sad but understood or sexy and empowered or like whatever. Because I write in every feeling that I am. And unfortunately, another sad part is because I've kind of been such a funk these days I haven't written that much which is really hard for me because I usually always always am writing everything's literally fine but it just 
just doesn't feel like it's fine. I'm a very self-aware person, so I can step out of myself and be like, everything is literally fine. Everything is gonna be fine. You're so lucky, you're so blessed, everything's good, you know, but when you're in it and you feel all these things at once, it's hard to not just like, if I ever have enough courage, and if I ever post this someday, even if it encourages somebody to just cry and feel your feelings, that's good because it's really important to just feel them and not judge them. Thank God I have Leo. I just love him so much. <laughs> I just love my dog and he loves me through everything and I love him and Leo I'm sorry when I get mad at you for pulling on the walk <laughs> and pulling on your leash. I'm sorry when I get mad at you for that. I know that's just how you are because <laughs> you're a rescue dog and you've been through some sh <sighs> Gosh, I am losing my mind. I'm ready to just say f it and start posting like real sh I should really practice the national anthem. Take a left. Your destination is on the right. You've arrived. He's gonna make a huge mess of this in this hotel. Cause I know you're gonna jump up here. There you go. Look what I got you. It's a calm. I'm definitely like, oopsies. So what happens when you're a single mom trying to work? Okay, Leo. Oh Lord. Well, I'll put your water to right here for you. Okay. That's your water. This will hopefully keep him busy while I sneak out of here. I'm gonna turn this off so the lighting is a vibe. Maybe I'll turn this off for him. There, that looks nice and cozy. Keep the TV on loud. Take my water. You should be good. Floors are buff. Furniture and appliances go in. Hi, Leo. I love you. Well, I'm walking. I got lost in traffic. This game definitely starts in about 30 minutes, and I'm not in the auditorium. Not me out of breath. Hold up. Let me check my map. Take a right onto the path, then in 800 feet. Take a left onto the path. In 800 feet, take a left onto the path. This campus is nice. Proceed to the route. I went to school in New York. I didn't have a campus. So this is kind of cute. This is like how the real college kids do it.
well, I got my pretzel and I'm going back to my hotel to see my dog. I think it went good, I don't know. Every time I do the national anthem, I like black out. And then I never listen to the video because I'm so critical of myself. Maybe I'll put the video in this, maybe I won't. This campus is very nice. It's giving campus. It looks like a movie set. It looks like a literal movie set. Also, it's so funny. I'm so used to doing the NBA national anthems. So I like do all my makeup and my hair and all these kids show up to these games from class. No makeup, obviously no hair, in their sweats. And I'm just looking extra as hell, completely all done up. Now I know. Like, look at this. This is like a movie set. So, excited to go see my dog. I feel, I feel good that I just came up here and did it. I don't like to videotape when people walk by. I feel like, a, um, I just feel weird. Like the influencer life is not for me. I'm trying to make this, this vlog of this trip, but I'm trying to do it like somewhat quietly, which is why I love that nobody's here. But anyways, I'm proud of myself. I'm really excited to just go cuddle up in a cute hotel room with my puppy dog and order food. You know what I'm saying? So really, I did it for the food. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. I've been thinking all day. What should I get for dinner? I purposely didn't stop and get food because I wanted to go all out on dinner. So. I'm debating if I should go sit someplace by myself or find an outside place and bring Leo. That would be the move. Or the other move could be ordering something to my hotel. So I'm just, it's almost like a, like a, like a room service moment. Oh, I have an idea. I could order something to my hotel and then sit outside because there's a cute little patio and sit outside with Leo. So it feels like we're eating out somewhere, but we're not. We're really like right next to our hotel. like. The door's right there, but we're outside. And it feels like a, that's what I'm trying to decide what to do. So when I get in the car, I'm gonna Google some food and see what's open. See if there's any cute restaurant vibes. We'll see. Bye. Okay, let's go scare Leo. Is living his life in this hotel. What you watching? HDTV, go off. How are you feeling? I missed you. Have you liked the trip so far? Have you enjoyed yourself? Leo and I went on a 45 minute walk around downtown Durham. We explored, right? Leo, wasn't it cute? He just wants his food. Then I went and ordered myself a pizza. And let me tell you, no, it is a cute. I got mushroom with sausage. I'm really grateful for this time, no, to just get away from my normal routine, watch some basketball, one of my favorite things to do, sing, one of my favorite things to do, hang out with my dog, one of my favorite things to do, eat, one of my favorite things to do, I was struggling before this. Pretty sure that I cried on my way here and have it on camera. Lord. I can't believe I videotaped it. The real thing is gonna be if I put it in the video. But for anybody who, you know, is watching this, do stuff alone, man. Now you know what you should do? Rescue a dog. Oh, you feel confident about that? Rescue a dog and just do stuff with your dog. It is a life hack. Right, baby? He just wants the food. He didn't really want to kiss me. This is fire. The gag is, Leo. The treats that I bought him today cost more than this handmade pizza. Yeah, I do. You didn't even ask me if you if I did okay today and how my national anthem went. It was like okay. 
every time I sing it, I just kind of like black out, you know? You know that. I always tell you. I haven't even watched back the video because I don't want to. I'm too critical of myself, and you know that. You know that. I wish dogs could come to the game. I don't know. If dogs could come to the game, I would have brought you. And you would have seen them. They were really good. I know a lot of people will be mad. Because here's the thing, like, when you're from North Carolina, it's always like UNC or Duke. And all growing up, I just switched. Look, if I was around somebody who liked Duke, I'd be like, you got Duke. If I was around somebody who liked Carolina, I'd be like, yeah, Carolina. Because the reality is, I just love basketball. I don't care about the team. Call me fake, but... I'm lame. I just like supporting them both. I just love seeing young people who are really talented at something work their off. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? And it's just really special. It's special to see all the families there. The energy of college- Oh, I have pizza all up in my hair. He's mad. He's big mad. He's so mad. <laughs> he, he turned away from me. Energy of college basketball is so much better than NBA because like they're hungry, they want it, they're fighting, they're passing. I mean, holy <laughs> they be rotating that ball, honey. Like I couldn't even keep my eye on it. And the next thing you know, they scored and everyone's like, wow. I was like, yes, y'all better go off. So anyways, more of the story is college basketball is a lot more exciting and such better energy than NBA. Sorry, NBA. I always knew that, but I had never like been to a college game. Well, I've been to a couple, but not like a Duke opening night game. I'm not gonna lie, this is a part that I was excited for. I bet that my mood right now is a lot different from earlier in this video. Driving up here, I was a little bit stressed. I'm not gonna hold you. I was stressed. What is this dog doing? Leo, what are you doing? He's like, you know what I'm doing, stop asking me. Bye. Sipping on a Diet Coke on the way back, classic. The point of me videoing right now was to say, was not to say anything, was to actually play some music. So I thought I'd do a listening party. What about close to you? Listen to the intro of this. Shout out to Mike Sabbath. I did this with him.
police reported ahead. All right, let me know if you like this vlog. Vlog, vlog. Or if it was too chaotic, I'll just do it. If it was too chaotic for you, I also get that 100%. I just felt inspired, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys all are healthy and safe. And keep going, you got this.